Hey guys! So for this video we're going to talk about my hair. Now this will be a hair care video and how I achieved this hair color. So I'm going to go more deeply into how I achieved this hair color and how I wash my hair and care, care for it every day. So yeah, let's start. Now first off, I am absolutely not a professional hairdresser, so don't think I am. I get so many questions on how I achieve this hair color and it's all just from experience and experimenting with colors and just gaining that kind of experience. So if you want to go the easiest way to achieve this pretty hard maintaining hair color, I really recommend you to go to a hairdresser because they know exactly what to do with it and what you'll need and everything. But this is just my experience and how I achieved this on my own. So I started with really white blonde hair and I used Corset of Sweden's Noble Anth Anthracite. It is a toning hair mask. Um, so basically it is a healing hair mask that has pigments in it that will change your hair color. So it's almost a toner but it's still a hair mask. So this shade is really really dark. You can see right there it's a really really dark brownish purple and so I used this and mixed out with conditioner to get a lighter shade. Now this product is absolutely really good but it turned my hair really grey. Um, although in some light it turned my hair kind of a bluish grey which is a great shade actually if you're into that but I wanted a kind of ashy grey that I think is pretty hard to achieve so this is how I achieved this almost ashy grey. So starting off with this color it made my hair bluish grey. Um, in some light it looked turquoise uh, and some lights really grey and in some lights bluish grey. I've never had this dark grey before so I didn't know so much about having it um, and how to maintain it but I read around on the web and almost all grey hair toners or colors has blue undertones in them so I think that most greys will look kind of blue on your hair but if you have brassy blonde hair and use this product or a product similar to this, I think it might turn almost green in some lights. So if you're going to use this kind of product, you will have to start with really white silvery hair. It does make your hair really smooth though and it's great to um, use between washes, if you want to keep your hair color, you can just use this and blend it, mix with some conditioner and it's great to like use when maintaining your hair color. So this I used maybe around four times uh, between some washes every other week and it's still in my hair. Um, it's not going to get white blonde, I don't think. It's stained in my hair and I like that it doesn't fade so quickly on me um, because my hair is has stayed this color for two months, two and a half months I think and I apply this like three or four times to my hair. Now another option if this hair mask is really hard to get um, because this is a Swedish brand and um, this product is kind of new. It's been out there for a while but not for so long. Uh, they have it in Scandinavia but I don't know I think they have it in Germany, um, but I don't think they have it in the US. So another product that is almost exactly the same, and I think they have it in like America, it is Maria Nila's Color Refresh, and this is the black shade, and um, I've used like three or four pumps with this, mixed with lots of conditioner. So this is what the shade looks like. It is almost the same shade as this one, but I think this would 
give the same result to my hair. Now, as I told you, this is just how I achieved this hair color. And because I didn't want the blue tones in my hair, I wanted to get rid of them because by some reason, I don't know why, I just hate blue in my hair. I think it's because I had such a struggle when going from blue to blonde. I think it's why I hate blue on myself, so I wanted to do anything to get rid of that but still keep the grey. This is the part when I experiment with my hair. So I thought if I made my blue hair look more purple um, and then use a yellow something yellow to neutralize the purple that would turn my hair gray so i got the probably strongest silver shampoo that i have tried ever and that is the fudge clean blonde violet toning shampoo and it's so freaking pigmented look how purple that is so i use that to my hair and i left it in for maybe 20 minutes half an hour and that made my hair gray purple like it took away all the blue and made my hair really purple and i really hated that shade <laughs> and i was so scared it wasn't going to come off since my hair was so purple i thought i'd use something golden to my hair to neutralize that shade uh this is my favorite toner my most trusting hair friend when I have unwanted colors in my hair. So when you have really light blonde hair, platinum blonde, your hair can get green, it can get blue, purple from anything. It just stains. Colors just stick on white blonde hair. So this is the Goldwell Soft Color Gold Blonde. It is a foaming toner that you leave in for your hair after shampoo and you leave it in for five to 15 minutes and this gold is my lifesaver when my hair was green really green after bleaching my blue hair this made my hair like gold i don't know ashy blonde color and it took away all the green so i thought if i use this gold foam on top of my violet this would neutralize the violet because Yellow is the opposite of violet, so that will make my hair grey, this ashy grey that I want, and it actually did. Um, so whenever I feel like my grey hair is starting to look blue or green, I use this, and I just leave it in for 5 minutes or 10, and it leaves off some gold streaks here and there, but they fade after like a wash, so it's fine. Like my hair is starting to look a little green, minty green, so I'm going to use this in my next wash. So yeah, that's how I achieve my grey hair. It is a process and it's probably not at all close to a, how a professional would do, but this is just me being impulsive with my hair, um, like always. But yeah, hey, it worked, right? But anyway, living in Sweden, I can't get a hold of a lot of products that most people use for that trendy grey that everyone has. If you know of any products that gives your hair that perfect grey, like not blue grey, not purple grey, just grey, ashy grey, please let me know. I would love to if you could comment in the comment section below. And now moving on to my hair care and how I take care of my hair when I wash it. So I always use professional hair products to my hair because I feel that it is good for my hair. I feel like it's trustworthy even though it can be a bit pricey. I just don't think drugstore hair products works at all for my hair. It just leaves my hair really dry and I, I hate it. So I always go for moisturizing products um, for damaged and dry hair. So now for a few weeks, I've been trying out Grisette of Sweden's Pro Cortex shampoo and conditioner, which is their newest addition, I think. And uh, yeah, I have their shampoo and conditioner. So right here it says that it is repairing and nourishing and it contributes to stronger hair quality. 
it's moisturizing it's definitely moisturizing which is really important to me it's also color preserving which is great if you have dyed hair and it is heat protecting uh, which feels good because I'm not really good at um, applying a heat protector to my hair when I curl it or straighten it so it feels good to have that little friend in these products that makes sure that your hair is protected it also has it says it contains sea buckthorn, which I have no idea what it is, but it's probably good. And sunflower with antioxidants and UV protective properties and strengthening liposomies. I have no idea what that means, but I mean UV protective is good. I really like this product. I feel like my hair is really soft and that this is healing and moisturizing and for my dry damaged hair. Um, which feels like this product makes it trustworthy. But so anyway, I start off by washing my hair with Pro Cortex shampoo and then I always use a hair mask because my hair always needs a hair mask. I wash my hair every four to five days. For a long time I've been using Tiki Bedhead, this one, and this is the Urban Antidotes. So this is the third level of their hair mask, they have three different, and this is the most moisturizing treatment for damaged hair. It says, perfect for fragile damaged hair that needs an intervention. And so Bedhead, all Bedhead products smell so good, they smell like candy, I have products that smells like pie. <laughs> but seriously, this is like the candy land of hair products. This is what I use right now for my hair mask and I leave it in for 3 to 5 minutes and it makes my hair really soft and it smells so good. So after that I use the Pro Cortex conditioner and I leave it in for one or two minutes like it says on the bottle. Uh, so after that my hair feels really smooth and shiny and it's easy to brush out. So some days I feel like my hair needs some extra loving so what I usually do to give it some of that extra love is that I use a coconut oil treatment and I use organic coconut oil and just slab it onto my hair everywhere um, and it gets so oily but I leave it in overnight in a braid and then the day after I wash it out with shampoo and everything so I've also tried the Grosset of Sweden's Pro Cortex 3 step treatment that is a treatment with 3 steps you have 3 different products that you'll use you use one product that you leave in for about 15 minutes. I can't really remember because it was a while since I tried it. And then you have the last step, which is a protector that you use between washes to keep your hair strong and moisturized. And this is a treatment that you can use even if your hair is like in good quality, but it's really good for hair that really needs help, like damaged and bleached hair. And it does the same, it has the same um, thought as in the shampoo and conditioner um, but this is kind of a more luxury treatment that makes your hair really soft and shiny and it just gives your hair that kind of treatment that it might need every now and then. I wrote a blog post about it a while ago and I'll leave the link down in the description box below where you can read more about it. So another option for you if you don't have access on getting this Pro Cortex 3-step treatment is um, Olaplex number three. I've tried Olaplex number three, I haven't tried one and two, but I think it has kind of the same idea as Pro Cortex, and um, because Grisette of Sweden isn't available in like America yet, then um, Olaplex might be the option for you. Okay, so some extra steps that I use after I wash my hair is a leave-in conditioner, and argan oil, but what I love that I got from my Blaster Box two months ago, I think, is the Maria Nila Cream Heat Spray. And it is, let's see, it's free from sulfate, which is really good, and it is a 
Nourishing heat protecting cream spray that rebuilds damaged hair and prevents split ends. So I apply this to my towel dried hair and massage it in and like I can feel the difference on my hair. It gets so soft and it's so easy to brush out and then sometimes I use argan oil in my hair as well. So that's it you guys, that is my hair care routine, how I take care of my hair and I'm actually going to cut my hair in three days because it's getting really thin out on the end so I think I'm about to cut like this much of my hair actually to get all the split ends. Yeah that's it, I hope you understood anything that I said, if it, anything made sense um, but please comment below if you have any more thoughts and I'll try to reply to them. And please comment below if you have any advice on which hair toners are the best in your opinion because I'd really like to know. So thanks guys for today, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time, bye!